Hi, this is Caitlin Lewis. I am a therapeutic recreation specialist at Gillette Children's Specialty Healthcare. Thanks for tuning in. Today we are doing an activity uh, surrounding collaging. Um, hopefully you have these materials already at home so you don't need to go out and get new materials. But all you need is a magazine or two, some paper, scissors, glue, and uh, your creative mind. This really works on pre-literacy skills or just fun. Um, so there's a couple options with this activity. You could just create um, kind of a goal or vision board out of a piece of paper, or you can create a storyboard, which is what I'm going to be demonstrating today. Um, so in this example, you're gonna flip through magazine and find, um, find pictures that speak to you or that you think might be fun. If you need to help your loved one with this task, you can flip for them and have them point out at the pictures that they think they should cut um, and add to their storyboard. Um, you can have them cut it. They could practice tearing the picture out themselves, or if they point to it, you can simply help tear it out for them. Once you've got your pictures ready, like I said, you can um, start pasting, you can overlap um, on your vision board or your collage board. If you decided on a storyboard, I prefer to have quadrants. And here's an example of one that was already started. So I've cut out a picture of a dog, a house, and next I cut out a picture of a beach. So you're just gonna simply attach pictures to each area. And you can do the front, you can do the back too if you'd like. And then you're gonna talk about it. The discussion is probably the most fun part. Um, so now is when you create your story, you could create a song, you could create a rhyme. You're using those pre-literacy skills and fun uh, to be able to work on um, conversation and work on imagination and work on telling stories uh, using then and next. Next, this happened. Uh, so this is Scruffy as an example, and he lived in the city. And he's always dreamed of being a beach dog. And then what Scruffy does is he met a really cool cat named Snowball um, and continue with your story uh, in that fashion. So it could be super fun, super easy. Again, hopefully these are materials you already have at home um, and you're doing a little bit of education along with having fun creating things. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you can catch us at our next video when we continue talking about ways to spend time in a healthy manner while you're at home.